Hi everyone, it's another little Neville nugget from Feeling is the Secret. So Neville says, to pray successfully, you must yield to the wish, that is feel the wish fulfilled. So to pray successfully, you must yield to the wish, that is feel the wish fulfilled. So I'm going to give you an example. When I was trapped in a job I didn't want to do, the whole feeling of trapped, I felt like I was suffocating. Doing something I didn't want to do, having to get out of bed when I didn't want to get out of bed, having to listen to an alarm clock, having to be in places that I didn't want to be in, being stuck in one room all day in different shopping centers around, you know, Sydney. Australia and really not wanting to be out and about. I like, really like quiet. I really like working in my own space. But in those days, I felt trapped. Now, let's break down the mechanics of that a little bit. You can't feel trapped and achieve doing the work you want to do. Okay, you have to start to feel the wish fulfilled as he says feel the wish fulfilled so the mechanics of this is in my case i felt trapped i wanted to feel free i was working with lots of people i wanted to work alone i was working in different places all around sydney i wanted to work at home alone so i could regulate the temperature i'm highly sensitive to too hot too cold too whatever I really wanted to be able to have control over that. And when I was working in different places, I didn't. So all these things developed over time, all these preferences. Okay. So I thought, okay, how am I going to live in the wish fulfilled? So I worked out after some time of thinking about this, I have to feel free. I had to feel this, ah, relief freedom and relief because I was feeling <gasps> suffocated and anxious so I understood the mechanics of Neville enough that I didn't need to know how it was going to happen I didn't need to know when it was going to happen all I had to do was for this day I had to feel free and I had to aim for relief so I would say things to my, myself like wouldn't it be great if I never have to come here again wouldn't it be fantastic to be working at home alone today? So see, my head wouldn't argue with those statements. Whereas if I said to myself, I'm working at home alone today, my head would go, well, no, you're not. You're actually here with all these people. And there's lots of loud music, screaming children, and a whole bunch of people you don't want to work with. So my head would have argued with that, you see. So it was a case of really getting somehow the feeling of relief so i would say the wouldn't it be nice if was a great way to do it and i would sit sometimes and i'd write okay if i had what i wanted today how would that look and it would be like okay i get to sleep in till 9 30 a.m i get to stay up late till midnight i get to start work at about 10 a.m i don't talk to anybody before 10 a.m uh, I love that I can sit outside and have my lunch because I was always trapped underground in these big concrete jungle shopping centers and it was really noisy and full of loud music and I just wanted to sit outside in the quiet and be around nature. So I would write that down. I Wouldn't it be nice if I could sit outside and eat my lunch? Wouldn't it be wonderful if I could be alone in the quiet? Wouldn't it be nice if I could see the grass and the trees and hear the birds and the flowers? Not hear the flowers, but, you know, see the flowers. So I would imagine this. And what I did was as I parked my car, I started saying goodbye, even though I was still working in this job for a period of time. I think it was an, another eight weeks or something. I started saying goodbye to everything on the way. And what I mean by that is I would say, hey, I'm never going to see that man's garden anymore, his rose garden. Oh, I'm going to miss that. So I started saying goodbye. And oh, that little lady that waves to me when I'm at the bus stop, the little old lady. Oh, I'm going to miss her. I'm going to miss seeing her every morning. I'm going to miss having that fantastic Thai food in that 
underground sh food area in that shopping center. I'm really going to miss being able to park my car easily like I do here in this street. Oh, I'm really going to miss watching that guy build his little shed because it's turned out to be so quirky and interesting. I won't be saying that anymore. So it was like my spirit had already left and I was starting to say goodbye to everything as if I already had somewhere to go. I didn't have anywhere to go at that time. But what that did was it kind of broke the energy of I'm stuck here forever. You're never going to get out of here. Who knows how long you're going to be here. And then you get that gloom feeling of how am I ever going to get out of here? So just wanted to give you that example. That was a great exercise saying goodbye in advance to things you don't want to do anymore. So and you can apply that to different subjects, relationships, to a health condition, to, you know, a money situation, to any kind of situation. Just apply the mechanics of that to your situation. So that's it. I'm going to put another couple of Neville YouTubes that I have done over the time. And the rest of the Neville Nugget series will be in the description of every Neville Nugget 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 description. So you can have a look if you want. Okay. Lots of love, everyone. See you in the next YouTube.